Hello and welcome to Algebra 2 Practice Set 45. In this video, we're going to look at some additional practice problems for our lesson on factoring polynomials using substitution. All right, so we're just going to factor each using substitution. All right, so let's take a look at the first example. We have 18x to the eighth power plus 12x to the fourth power minus 16. So what I can do, since this exponent here, this eight, is double that of this four, I'm gonna be able to use a little substitution technique. So what I can do is I can say that a variable, let's say z, is equal to, you want the variable that's raised to the smaller power, so x to the fourth power in this case. And I'm just gonna rewrite this so it's crystal clear what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna say that I have 18x to the fourth power, and that's squared. Remember, because of the rules of exponents, x to the fourth power squared is x to the eighth power. Then plus, next I'd have 12x to the fourth power, then minus 16. So everywhere I see x to the fourth power, I can replace that with a z because I have said that z equals x to the fourth power. So you put a z here and then here. So I would have 18z and then squared plus 12z and then minus 16. So let's think about just factoring this. The first thing you notice is that everything is divisible by two. So I could pull that out to start. And then inside the parentheses, I have nine z squared plus six z minus eight. Now, if I wanna factor this inside the parentheses, let me kind of scroll down and get a little room going. I can use reverse FOIL or I can use my factoring by grouping technique. I'm gonna use the factoring by grouping technique because I like it a little better. So I would find two integers whose product is nine times negative eight. So I want a product of negative 72. Nine times negative eight is negative 72. And a sum of the middle term, the coefficient is a six, so a sum of six. So I know that I'm gonna need what? I'm gonna need a positive and a negative. So just think about the factors of 72. So one and 72 are too far apart. Two and 36 are too far apart. Three and 24 are too far apart. 4 and 18 are too far apart, 6 and 12 would work, okay? If I had a positive 12 and a negative 6, so positive 12 and negative 6. 12 times negative 6 is negative 72. 12 plus negative 6 or 12 minus 6 is 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this middle term. So I'm going to say this is 2 times, inside of parentheses, 9z squared. I use these two to rewrite this. So plus 12z minus 6z, then minus 8. Now I'm going to factor this using grouping. So we're going to have two times. From the first group, I can pull out a 3z, and I'll have 3z plus 4 left. Then from the second group, I'm going to want to pull out a negative 2, and I'm going to have a 3z plus 4. And so I have a common binomial factor of 3z plus 4, and so I can factor that out. So what I'm going to end up with is 2 times the quantity, you'll have 3z plus 4, then times the quantity, 3z minus 2. So if I think about this now, I'm not done, because my original problem had an x, right? I don't want to report the answer like this. I just made a substitution to make it simpler. So let me just erase all the work I've done. All right, so we know that we said z was equal to x to the fourth power. So all I need to do is make one last substitution here and say, okay, well, this is x to the fourth power and this is x to the fourth power. So I'd write my answer as two times the quantity three x to the fourth power plus four times the quantity three x to the fourth power minus two. And if you FOIL this out, take the result multiplied by two, you'll come back to 18 x to the eighth power plus 12 x to the fourth power minus 16. All right, let's take a look at another one. So we have three times the quantity x plus y squared minus seven times the quantity x plus y and then minus 20. So one way you can factor this, you can take a variable and let it represent this quantity x plus y. So if we do that, let's say we choose something like u. So u is gonna be equal to the quantity x plus y. What's gonna happen is this is a u and this is a u, so I'd have three times u squared, or three u squared, minus seven, again, times u, minus 20. 
So in this format, it's very easy for me to factor this. I would find two integers whose product is three times negative 20 or negative 60. So this is the product. And we want a sum of negative seven. So this is the sum. So let's think about just regular positive 60 for a minute. If I know I need a positive and a negative, I've got to think about factors that are kind of close together. It can't be one and 60, they're too far apart. It can't be two and 30 or three and 20. We have four and 15, that still won't work. We have five and 12. Now five and 12, we can make that work with the signs. So if I had a negative 12 and a positive five, that's what we're looking for. Negative 12 times positive five is negative 60. Negative 12 plus five is negative seven. So I'm gonna use these two integers to rewrite this middle term here. So I'm gonna write this as three u squared minus 12u plus 5u, I just rewrote that middle term, minus 20. All right, so let's erase this. And now we're gonna factor this using grouping. So from the first group, I can pull out a 3u. That would leave me with u minus four. From the second group, I can pull out a five. So that would leave me with, again, u minus four. And if I factor out the common binomial factor, of u minus four, it'll be u minus four that quantity times, we'd have a three u plus a five. So I'm not done because remember, u represents the quantity x plus y. So let me, let me just erase all of this. And we're gonna plug in and in this case, we're gonna have to simplify. So u is x plus y. So we would have x plus y and then minus four. And then here you'd have times, you'd have three. For you, you have x plus y. Three is multiplying that quantity, so make sure you use parentheses, three x plus y, inside of parentheses, then plus five. So let me simplify this as best that I can. And what I'm gonna end up with is, we have the quantity x plus y minus four, times the quantity, you'd have three times x, which is three x, plus three times y, which is three y, and then plus five. All right, let's take a look at another one. So we have five x to the eighth power minus 58 x to the fourth power plus 80. So we see that we have x to the fourth power and we have x to the eighth power. So this is double this. So I can let something like, I don't know, let's say q be equal to x to the fourth power, your variable raised to the smaller power. And I could rewrite this. I could say it's five x to the fourth power squared Right, because four times two is eight, minus 58 x to the fourth power plus 80. So if I make substitutions here, I'm gonna plug in a Q here and here. So I would have five times Q squared minus 58 Q plus 80. To factor this again, I'm gonna use my factoring by grouping method that I like. So you use reverse FOIL or whatever you like, doesn't really matter. If you think about five times 80, that would be 400. So we'd want a product of 400. The sum would be negative 58. So that would probably take a little bit of time to figure that out. The numbers are kind of tedious. So I know if I want a negative sum and a positive product, I've got to have two negatives. So I think about the possibilities here. Just think about 400. You kind of run through this very quickly. One and 400, that's too far apart. 2 and 200 too far apart, not divisible by 3, 4 and 100 too far apart, 5 and 80 still too far apart. But then when we get to 8 and 50, that would work. If I had a negative 8 times a negative 50, that would give me positive 400. Negative 8 plus negative 50 is negative 58. So I could rewrite my middle term. We could say we have 5q squared minus 50q minus 8q plus 80. I could factor out a 5q from the first group, and that would leave me with q minus 10. From the second group, I could pull out a negative eight, and I'd have q minus 10 inside. Factor out the common binomial factor, and so what I'm gonna have is the quantity q minus 10 times the quantity 5q minus eight. All right, so now let me erase everything, and what I wanna do is I wanna replace q with x to the fourth power, 
So my answer here for this problem would be x to the fourth power minus 10, that quantity times five times x to the fourth power minus eight. So this would be the factorization for this.